guys, LA Makes is back! And today, I have a really, 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 special video for you guys today! Okay, have any of you seen the show on Food Network called Chopped? Well, I have, and I'm going to redo that today. Um, I am going to open up a basket full of three ingredients. I have no idea what they are. My parents like put them together into this basket and I did not see it. I promise you, I did not see it. And I'm gonna have to try to figure out how to cook something. Um, by the way, I'm doing appetizer. I'm gonna have to cook an appetizer with these ingredients. I can't use other ingredients, but I need to make sure to use all the ingredients in this basket over here. And I'm going to put a little bit of changes into it. I'm not gonna have a timer. <laughs> I'm not going against any opponents, and I'm not going to have a judge, but um, I'm going to judge myself, promise you, I'm a good judge, for myself at least. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it, so I'm going to open up my basket. Okay, let's open this up, taking off to live the moment of truth. Oh. Number one, wrap bag of pretzel sticks. Crumbled goat cheese. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna eat that whole thing. I'll save a little bit for the dish, that's fine. And bacon, microwave bacon, yay. Oh my goodness, what am I gonna do? While looking at my ingredients, my pretzel sticks, my uh, microwave bacon, and my goat cheese, and it's like, what? <laughs> what am I gonna do with this stuff? Then I was like, ding! I think I know what to make. Okay, so I'm going to make this little um, this little thing that's kind of like a mini pie or something like a mini pie. <laughs> um, and it's since it's an appetizer, it's going to be small. And my bread is going to be like the crust. And I'm just going to cut the edges off of the bread. And now I'm just going to press down with my hand. Don't worry, they're clean. I'll wash them. I'm gonna press down with my hand so that it's nice and flat. Now, I did not practice and I did not um, make a recipe ahead of, ahead of time. I'm making it up on spot and I'm getting really nervous and I hope it tastes good. So I'm just flattening this out so it's really thin so I can shape it into my crust. So I got it nice and thin and I have a mini muffin tin that I rinsed out and then I'm gonna take one dry one, it has to be dry, um, so that my bread doesn't get soggy. And I'm gonna put my bread right over it, and I'm gonna just use my fingers to carefully pat it down into the, um, to the little muffin tin. You don't want all those sides on, that would be a lot of more bread than what's actually inside this little mini appetizer thingy. Okay, so I put it in here, and then I cut the sides, and now it is the shape of a, um, one of the muffin tins, mini muffin tins. Many, many. So I'm gonna take a handful of some pretzels, some of my pretzel sticks, and I'm gonna take this little Ziploc bag and I'm gonna stick all of these little pretzels inside. And I'm just gonna carefully, uh, I'm gonna carefully smash this up. I just got uh, one teaspoon of my pretzel crumble. I'm gonna like just pour it into my thing. Now that looks way too much pretzels. It's just gonna be full of pretzels, so I'm just gonna skip a little bit out, but I'm just trying it. It's off this thing. It's on the spot. I'm just making this on the spot, so I don't know the exact measurements of everything because I'm making this up. I'm just gonna pour this ooey gooeyness right inside, and I'm just gonna pat it down a little bit with my the back of the tablespoon. Um, just to pat that down, you can also use your fingers. Um, so I'm just gonna cut this up into small pieces. Ooh, I have a good idea. Roll it up to roll. Cut, 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 cut. Thin pieces. Be careful, <laughs> always be careful. Do not cut your fingers, please. Always ask a parent's permission before you use your knives. Don't be scared to use your hands for this part, because you're gonna need to. Okay, so I'm just gonna grab a little bit of greasy bacon and I'm gonna sprinkle that on top of the goat cheese in my little 
cup thingy. So I put the um uh the little thing. I still don't have a name for it. I put it in the oven at 350 degrees. I'm just game gambling on that degree. The that temperature so we can get all of the heat into it and then the goat cheese can melt onto the pretzels. <laughs> that was hard to get. Oh look! No duct tape on my fridge anymore because I get a new one. Yeah. Okay, so when um, my thing is out of the oven, I'm gonna put a little dab of sour cream on just to even out all the flavors. Just to add a little bit of spice, a little drizzle of sriracha. Oh, I think it's about time to take it out. Okay, so I pulled it out of the oven. Um, it's been four minutes. I put it in for four minutes. I'm gonna kind of do this to the bread, and if it crumbles like that, that means it's done. And I'm also gonna kind of twirl it and like bang on it. Yeah, and it looks a little golden brown on the edges. It's perfectly crispy, hopefully it's on the bottom crispy. Drizzle on the, with sriracha, I'm just gonna drizzle on my little cutting board that's wooden for my presentation. Place this right here. That looks nice. I'm so nervous for this part. Little dab of sour cream. Sriracha jizz on the bottom, sriracha on the top. But I like this spice. I handle it. Um, the bacon is really good. You can taste the goat cheese, that's nice. Press is not so much, but it gives it a nice crisp on the bottom since it got soggy from this. It gives it more crisp on the bottom, which is nice. Um, the sour cream definitely brings it all together, makes it delicious. I really like this. I want to eat this every day of my life. <laughs> Okay, so by the way, um, remember my last video, if you've seen that, where I drew a cartoon character and it was a tutorial on how to do that. And I did this contest where I said, leave in the comments down below what her name should be. This character's name should be. And I have gotten a winner. It was hard, guys. I loved all of your names. They're all so cool. I got, <laughs> I got this interesting name. Not in the comments, some people did it outside the comments just told me her name should be Snakey Snake. <laughs> but her name, okay, so this is the character I drew. I am going to give you my winner for <laughs> this character. I'm so excited. So her name is going to be Tara. Okay, so my friend Faith, she, um, gave me the idea of Tara. And then I was like going through my notebook and named all my characters Tara because I love that name so much. <laughs> so Faith, you are the winner of this contest. Congratulations, Faith. Um, her name's Tara now, so yay! Well, that's it for me. Now it's your turn. <laughs>